Hey guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Mathis and today I received a few packages from uh, Book Depository. Also I received a package from uh, Book Outlet. So uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. So Book Depository sent me a bookmarker. It's pretty cool. So guys, the book I uh, have here is James Baldwin, Another Country, and this one is Giovanni's Room. I really like these editions. Uh, they are gorgeous. I didn't, I didn't expect them to be so nice. Uh, so, i give you guys a closer look. I'm so happy I finally got this in my possession uh, because I heard so much about James Baldwin ever since I started booktube I have the thing One Small Paul, Frenchy D, um, Joe and S Steve Reeves they like profusely sp spoke about this author so I just had to uh, pick his work up so guys this book says David a young American in the 1950s is waiting for his fiance to return from vacation in Spain but when he meets Giovanni a handsome Italian barman. Two men are drawn into an intense affair. And I believe another country also has homosexual references as well. So this is what I'm going to be reading in May guys. So expect a review. So guys the next package I have here is from Book Depository. So let's open this up. Oh my god it's so hot in here. I don't know why it's so hot in here but it is hot. Oh my god, I did not expect for this book to come so quickly. I feel like I just ordered this book like a few days ago. So I'm very surprised it got here so quickly. I mean, book depository, don't, they don't play. So what came through the mail, guys, is Toni Morrison, Tar Baby. Look at this cover. It's a really cute cover. I like it. I can't resist this cover because I love mangoes. Uh, I'm a mango boy, so uh, mangoes are my favorite fruit. And so I, I just was attracted to this cover. So guys, my goal this year is to read all of Toni Morrison's work. And also, I, I would like to review all her books on my channel. And so expect a review for all her books. So let's open up the big box. So guys, the first book that I have here is The White Woman on the Green Bicycle by Monique Ruffay. So guys, I've been eyeing this for a while now because I've been wanting to learn more about Trinidad's culture. So I decided to pick up this book. The premise is centered around this white woman, which is obvious. But um, it is centered around this white woman that lives in England. Uh, she recently got married to her husband and they both moved to uh, Trinidad. While she is there, she is very disenchanted with the segregation in uh, that country. Somehow she gets involved into the politics. And this is supposed to have uh, like a triangle romance in here. So yeah, this seems like it would be a nice summer read. I cannot wait to actually dive into this one. So guys, the next book that I have here is The Lost Flamingos of Bombay by Sandarth uh, Sangvi. So guys, I decided to pick this up because I was very drawn to the front cover and it seemed like a very fun read. It says the Lost Flamingos of Bombay is a triumph. Amy Tan, award winning author of the Joy Luck Club. So if she approves it, it must be a decent read. So guys, the next book that I have here is Hiding in the Hip Hop on the download in the entertainment industry from music to Hollywood. Um, the Essence Bestseller by Terrence Dean. And so this is the author. I'm very excited to dive into this one. Um, I was just online one day and I just stumbled across this. I'm surprised I not have not heard about this book, but yeah, it's just 
um, flew past me. Uh, I read somewhere that he dishes out some gossip about some famous uh, people living on the down low in the entertainment world. And so I'm very curious who he mentions in this book. So this book sounds a little messy, but I'm in the mood, I'm in the mood for something a little more juicy. So yeah. I'm looking on the back cover, guys, and Essence Magazine says Dean's descriptive page turning expose about his closeted sex, same sex romances with Hollywood and hip hop's leading black men will be a rude awakening for many and healing for others. So if Essence Magazine approved this book, it must be a good read. The next book that I have here is Secret Son by Layla Lalami. So guys, I was recommended this book by a dear friend of mine on Goodreads. She said that it was an excellent read and so I instantly picked it up. So guys, Los Angeles Times says, La Lama's depiction of Moroccan life and Secret Son illuminating the social, political, religious, and poverty issues facing its citizens is both sensitive and startling. So guys, this sounds very compelling and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. So guys, the next book that I have here is called Half-Life by Rupa Faruqi. This book is about a young woman who is called to come back home because her father has passed away. She packs her bags and leaves her husband and while she is there she runs into a old flame and so things start to get a little heated and yeah and the stars takes off from there. I decided to give this a try. I really like, I don't know if I can see the detailing on the sides but I really like the detailing of prints on this book. It's really really, it's really gorgeous. So uh, yeah, really nice book. I like it. So guys, that is it. That is my May book haul. If you guys would like for me to review any of these books, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.